Good Sunday morning, everybody, from the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with your look at what's going on across the Mid-South where it comes to weather on this Sunday and beyond. This is our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Thanks for joining us and keeping an eye on the weather. We'll have more on your forecast coming up later on tonight on News Channel 3. Forecast in the red bar at the bottom of your page. Questions, concerns, comments, ideas, suggestions, anything like that. Criticisms, if you absolutely must, have the email address at the top of the screen, Austin onic at wreg.com. A pretty hot and humid forecast shaping up for the area as we go into the next several days and unfortunately not really looking at too much relief out there anytime soon. We'll take a look at the forecast coming up here in just a little bit. Part of the main story for today is air quality across the Mid-South area and how hot it is going to be. It was 95 degrees in Memphis yesterday, but please remember it can always be warmer for the United States on Saturday. Death Valley widening up at 119 degrees, so yes, it could definitely always be worse somewhere across the country. So at least we weren't that hot out there with that humidity out there. It sure feels pretty steamy. Cough temp decks are exclusive and very tongue-in-cheek coffee temperature recommendation index for today. Hot Java, maybe not quite so much. Iced, frothy coolness helping you to stay cool. Again, this is just a tongue-in-cheek recommendation. You need to choose safely for your own temperature concerns and if you burn your mouth on too hot a coffee or get a brain freeze well that's your problem so there graceland camera from areas around the south central part of memphis in and around whitehaven and down to around elvis presley boulevard plenty of sunshine at the home of the king of rock and roll getting a very nice facelift around the Ole Miss campus track and field stadium gorgeous colors out there and beautiful sunshine this morning in and around oxford if you're heading out the door to grab some exercise time down there. Looks like some of the workers are out there getting a few things taken care of and also a few joggers and strollers heading around the track so far this morning. Sunshine in downtown Memphis on the St. Jude K research camera. Looking down toward the St. Jude campus and seeing all as well. No rainfall coming down at this location. Sunshine in Olive Branch. Lori 38654 on the weather underground system. Brilliant sunshine in her front driveway and out across the roadway looking again from just down the road in Olive Branch. Former mayor of Olive Branch. Sam Reichard's webcam showing City Hall, blue skies with a few clouds out there and plenty of sunshine. Our Hilton East Memphis camera appears to be suffering a slight hiccup. Apologies for that. And heading out the door again today, not too much of a problem where wildfires are concerned. Low wildfire danger, and as of right now, in the states that make up the News Channel 3 viewing area, we have no reports of any burn bans showing up. Tennessee doesn't really issue them except in extraordinary circumstances. You do need a burn permit at certain times during the year, so call the Tennessee Division of Forestry with the Department of Environment and Conservation and find out more, or call your local fire department to find out when it is safe to have things like campfire ready to go. If you're going camping, that's something to notice. Check with the park ranger or with the websites from the state to see if you can light fires. As of right now, it doesn't look too bad, but always best to check ahead on that. As of right now, again, for Sunday, we have a code orange ozone alert. Whether or not that continues into Monday, that's a question. We'll have to find out from Shelby County Health Department. If that changes, we will let you know. But for today, ozone gas is at an unhealthy level for people with emphysema, asthma, and other lung ailments and that is again for today. If it is issued for Monday, we will let you know about it. Other things to tell you about, a couple of earthquakes taking place last night. One at 9.04 p.m. on Saturday evening, a 2.5 magnitude in and around the Boot Heel of Missouri. And just north of Memphis early this morning at 1.27 a.m., a 2.3 magnitude earthquake occurred. So if you're in this particular area and you felt anything, please make certain that you tell that to the United States Geological Survey or for the Center for Earthquake Research and Information at the University of Memphis. You can fill out a form. All you have to do is go to our social media web pages and click on the Did You Feel It button from the USGS or from SERI to help them understand more. This is, again, what Sid and science is all about. So if you'd like to know more about this, head to our social media web pages and fill out information about what you felt, where, and when. That type of information can help seismologists learn a little bit more about our ever-moving and ever-shaking planet. Again, for yesterday's high temperatures, sorry about the repeat on this in case you missed it the first time. 
but once again it was very hot and again not quite as hot as it could be back across portions of the western United States. For yesterday high temperature just a bit above normal on the highs, low temperatures just a bit below normal on the lows and nowhere near the record high for good news on that. But wish we could hit that record low of 60 set back in 1945. Even though there were showers and thunderstorms across parts of Shelby County yesterday, Memphis International wound up with nothing so that meant we did not receive officially any rainfall for the day in and around the Memphis Airport area. We're still ahead by a fraction of an inch for the month and by about eight inches plus for the year. So looking pretty good where it comes to rainfall there. For the moon today, it's about 93% of full. It'll be rising later on this evening at 619. It's set at about 4 a.m. early this morning. Sunrise and sunrise today and tomorrow about the same. We're going to be losing daylight. We're going to be losing about a minute or so into the course of the next few days. And again, looking at some very warm conditions out there for later on today. Late this morning into early this afternoon, we will be seeing the possibility of maybe some scattered showers popping up across parts of the area. It does not look like much at this time, but we are going to be seeing the potential for some showers and thunderstorms here and there. Northeastern Mississippi, portions of the metro area and back into northwestern Mississippi, and then into around southeastern areas of Arkansas. Scattered across the area, main story today will be the high temperatures in the mid to upper 90s along and south of Interstate 40. Heading into News Channel 3 at 10, the chances of showers and thunderstorms go away and less potential of anything involving rainfall into tomorrow morning morning around daybreak with Todd Demers starting at 4.30 a.m. Rest of Monday, temperatures rise rapidly to around 90 degrees by lunchtime for much of the area and once again the possibility of a shower or thunderstorm out across the area through Monday afternoon and evening. So if you have plans for outdoors, anything involving, say, vacation, Bible school, marching practice, football, soccer practice, anything like that, when thunder roars, go indoors. It may seem like a silly catchphrase, but it's something that could save your life. So please keep that in mind if you're going to be doing anything outdoors. And temperatures tomorrow evening by News Channel 3 at 10 back in the lower to mid-70s. Your seven-day forecast, a chance of showers and thunderstorms today, limited and mainly in the afternoon and evening, otherwise hot and humid. Same forecast applies for Monday. A slight chance of a little bit more showers and thunderstorms on Tuesday, and again uh, for Wednesday as well, but not exactly a widespread overpowering chance. Hot and humid throughout the rest of the week. Regular air temperatures in the mid to high 90s. As we head into next weekend, temperatures remain in the mid to upper 90s, pushing the century mark. Doesn't look like a heat wave specifically, but it does look like some pretty hot temperatures, and that means combined with humidities out there, we could see some heat indexes over the next several days easily close to heat advisory territory. That's 105 degree heat index temperatures plus, and that means very dangerous conditions for working or exercising outdoors, so please keep that in mind. If you are going to be doing anything outdoors, Please keep an eye on those working or exercising around you, especially if it involves kids in athletics or, again, marching band. From past AMS President Jay Marshall Shepard, a great article about heat and youth activities. Not critical, but just wondering if we could do things a little bit better. A great article, and that's on my Facebook page, and a great source of information, Mr. Shepard, or Professor Shepard, I should say, for keeping everybody safe and raising some very good questions about safety in the summer. If you'd like to see more of our pictures out across the Mid-South. Here's one that I snapped on Broad Avenue of the Water Tower, the Caribbean Festival going on back in and around that area from my wife Melissa at around 385 in Winchester. Gorgeous view of some clouds early on Saturday afternoon and from very nice guy Brian Lurie around Arlington, Tennessee. Some clouds of the passing storm moving on through early portions of Friday evening in parts of the area. If you've got anything you'd like to send in, please do so. Aonic underscore WREG3 on Twitter and we'll feature them on Facebook and Instagram and also on Google+. And if you missed the forecast and want to hear what's going on, tune into the EAB network, the East Arkansas Broadcast Network, Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3 throughout the rest of the day today. So once again, very much on the hot side across much of the area. Please use caution and common sense and keep it tuned to News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the week for more details on what to expect with this heat and humidity across the area. It is mid-July after all, so again, not much is going to be changing unless we get a pretty dynamically powerful mass of cold air to dislodge itself out of areas around northern Canada, which right now seems to be pretty unlikely, unfortunately. It would be nice, but it's just not usually what we get at this time of the year. Again, updates on the forecast tonight on News Channel 3 at 5 and 10. Questions, concerns, comments, email address right there. 
at the top of the screen. Thanks for joining me for the latest edition of News Channel 3 exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime, and more information coming up later on today on News Channel 3 on air and online.